Today we'd like to show you our new app engine titled Quiz Marathon. Quiz Marathon is a trivia game app engine we've developed for you. So let's just check it out without the internet connection first. So let's just tap the icon here and as you can see the users if we do not have internet connection enabled they will get this error message so tapping the uh, the retry retry button won't help here much so let's just enable uh, Wi-Fi and go retry we get the loading message and we have available our menu here this menu is completely server driven which means that you can add as many images as you want uh, as you want through our CMS so it's not only uh, comfortable but very easy to use so to navigate all you have to do is swipe from left to right like this or right to left you can see it's create it creates this quite interesting carousel effect here uh, of course this app also has achievements built in so let's just view them for a second and as you can see on this page the all your users can track the uh, effectiveness in this game so you have this highest score per run total score correct answers, wrong answers, as well as uh, a ranking system here so the users need to get a certain amount of points uh, to level up and get a new badge so it's pretty cool feature let's just close this thing and now let's select one of the categories here so for instance this general one so let's tap it uh, questions are loaded from our uh, database so you can add all these questions as well through our uh, through our CMS so let's just whatever select anything here as you can see that the longer time the more time you take uh, the fewer points you'll get actually so let's just go with whatever okay great we get the message that this answer was correct and we uh, we we get uh, awarded uh, 625 points obviously if a phone call comes in and you have to minimize the app uh, we've developed a pause uh, feature here so you can see that you don't have to uh, worry about it too much uh, so let's just uh, pick whatever answers I mean the full round one round consists of 10 questions but if you want to have a different number like 7 maybe 15 questions per round that's not a problem you can set it up quite easily and obviously we've also incorporated uh, three different types of ads uh, banner ad from AdMob, uh, interstitial from chart boost and app wall also from chart boost so whatever let's just go to this without reading just selecting some random answers like this and now you can see our chart boost ad here once the uh, our full run has been completed so this is one way of monetizing this thing and now you can retry for instance and go again with these questions or just go back I mean with different the uh, user would have to answer different questions obviously and uh, the admin banner is at the top part for the purposes of this video we've uh, uh, we decided to disable it so now what we need to do here is 
show you also the usual functionalities of every mobile app so we have this more apps here button and you can see it's also supported uh, by chart boost this is the app wall so simply installs uh, for instance this magic wars app will be you know certain amount of money will be added to your chart boost account as well uh, let's go back to the achievements for a second you can see that the stats have been updated accordingly uh, and i think this is pretty much everything we wanted to show you in this video obviously there's uh, the this right button here as well but since the since the app hasn't been uploaded yet so it's not uh, it's not uh, working but now i think we'll just go through uh, to the uh, cms and i'll show you how easy uh, this app is to set up so first thing first we have to enter our login credentials let's press login and now we'll go under settings tab and here you can change the password to whatever you want so now let's move to uh, the category tab here let's click it and this is uh, where you add uh, new categories along with the uh, pictures so let's add a new category let's press add and let's entitle it AAA for instance let's press save okay we have feedback here let's go back we have our new category entitled AAA and now what we need to do is add a new picture so for instance uh, let's click here and you can see this is our uh, this is the uh, place where we upload a new photo it is always good to use photos with uh, these uh, dimensions here I mean our script will uh, rescale scale down any Think that it's higher than this but for optimal experience it's always good to use these dimensions so let's just look for our photo for instance this thing and upload it's 100% and when we click it you can see the preview here and you can just go through all of these like this now here you can uh, turn off uh, certain categories if you want to this is the button where you can edit stuff like the name and when you want to delete it for instance you will see that you have you have to approve it one more time just for safety reasons if you misclick of course if you click here you can delete your photo and now uh, this is all for the for the categories and now let's move to the questions so you can either go under questions tab here and this is you can see the category music here and if you scroll down and click for instance uh, 2 you can see another science category obviously if you want to add a question you just press add and you choose uh, the category you want to add your question to for instance science because we're in science and here you insert the question and then the first option is the 
correct uh, answer and this is some random wrong answers so let's click back here obviously you can switch off certain questions or edit them for instance you could just go here and move it to another category if you want to let's go back to category for a second and there's also a lot easier way of accessing uh, certain uh, questions of, of a certain category for instance this history here so all you have to do is click here and you're in the history questions and you can add new or delete or edit whatever you want so as you can see our CMS is very intuitive it's pretty easy to use so let's just remove this so you can see how the process goes and yeah this is uh, what our CMS is like I hope you find it informative Please bear in mind that we always test our products on actual devices. In this instance, we use Android devices that support Google Play services as well as Amazon's Kindle Fire. So that would be everything for this video, we hope you found it informative and see you in our next product.